Hello and welcome back to another Ada Weather video. Today we are talking about Hurricane Frank, which is currently moving to the northwest and the east Pacific and gaining intensity quickly. Currently, Frank has maximum sustained winds of 90 miles an hour, minimum central pressure of 975 millibars, and is moving to the northwest at 12 miles an hour. Now, this storm just passed the 15 degrees north parallel, and we typically start to see storms weaken after the 20 degree north parallel. But this storm seems to have a little bit more kick and could become a major hurricane. So, here is the current forecast cone brought to you by the National Hurricane Center. So, the National Hurricane Center expects Hurricane Frank to become a major hurricane on Saturday. And as the storm continues to progress, slowly deteriorate back to a tropical depression by Wednesday. But Saturday is today. And we are expecting this storm to go from 90 miles an hour to at least 115 miles per hour. So, that is a big increase in intensity. And we are going to look at our current storm information here for Frank, but specifically the intensity guidance. Because we have all these different models here showing different intensities for the storm. Now, we have a few short-range models that do have this getting up to maybe even a Category 4 hurricane. Just two models showing that. We have about five models showing a Category 3, with three of those being at a low-intensity Category 3, which still makes it a major hurricane, but it's just barely above that threshold. But the majority of the models have this storm straddling this line between Category 1 and Category 2 before about... 36 hours from now, we start to see that significant drop-off in intensity before, of course, fizzling out here in the upcoming days. Now, this timeline here, this 36, 48 hours, is right around when we should be seeing this cross the 20 degrees north parallel. So, you can see that the storm crosses that 20 degree north parallel here around... 5 p.m. tomorrow and that is about that 36 to 48 hour mark so of course with these types of storms when they cross the 20 degree north parallel they do kind of stop getting that warm air there's a lot cooler air above that 20 degrees north parallel whereas below it there's plenty of warm air warm waters for these storms to really energize and get into those major hurricane categories. But above that 20 degrees north parallel, there's just not those conducive features for stronger hurricanes. So as the storm moves across here after 5 p.m. on the 31st, you can see these mill bars slowly go up, which means the storm is weakening. And eventually here by August 3rd, the storm is basically done. But let's take a look here at the wind speeds that the European model is projecting here. So, right now, of course, we're at hurricane strength. And as the storm continues to start to intensify here, the European model kind of keeps it at that Cat 1, Cat 2 intensity. So, if we had to put it on that intensity guidance, I think it would be right in here. Right, the European model isn't having it get up to that major hurricane strength, but just straddling that Category 1, Category 2 boundary there in terms of wind speeds. So, what do you think will happen with a storm? Comment in the comment section down below. But that is all the information that I have for today, so if you found this video enjoyable and informative, consider leaving a like, subscribing, and hitting the bell. That is all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.